up weirdos, I'm Felicia and I like scary movies and today we are reviewing a very punk rock DIY horror movie. Today we're talking about Uncle Peckerhead which is a movie title that I wouldn't typically think to click on but I did have multiple people reaching out to me since literally July to watch this movie. It came out I think a few weeks ago and I gotta say, yes, you were all right. This movie is kind of made for me. So Uncle Peckerhead was written, directed, and edited by Matthew John Lawrence. And it follows a Jersey punk band who goes on their first tour and accidentally recruits a man-eating demon as their roadie. A very DIY movie about a very DIY band. Okay, so for a little background, I am in a Brooklyn-based band named Quam. Check us out on Spotify. And my boyfriend Travis is in another Brooklyn based band called Fat Heaven. So both of us have lived that tour life. So we knew that we needed to watch this movie together just because of the subject matter alone. And I gotta say we really loved it. We thought it was such specific, hilarious humor about how outrageous tour could be sometimes. But it was just such a fun, over the top, gory movie that really felt made for us. And so I've already hit up a lot of my music scene friends saying they have to watch this. Also, we play with a lot of bands from New Jersey. So it just, it just felt so accurate in so many ways. Now let's get a little more specific about what I liked about this movie. First of all, as I already mentioned, the gore, totally over the top, totally outrageous. And for the first time in the history of Travis and I watching a movie together, something really, really gross happened. And I was like, oh my god, I cannot look. That is too far. And Travis thought it was hilarious. And typically it is the opposite. So I don't know what that means for this movie. But it's a lot at times. But in a funny way. It's like the gore is so over the top. It's just hilarious. Another one of my favorite things about the movie is the band itself. So we have this three-piece band called Duh. Which is, by the way, such a great band name. I wish I thought of it. And I just want to make sure I get everyone's names right. So we have the guitar player, Max, who's played by Jeff Riddle, who also wrote a lot of the music for this. He is in a band called, a Jersey band called 500 Bucks. Then we have the like quiet, angry drummer character, Mel, played by Ruby McAllister. And then kind of our leading lady is Judy. She's the bassist, female vocalist, and kind of like the leader of the band. And she is played by Chet Siegel. And it was just so funny because like, yes, duh is a good band name, but also the music, I really liked it. Like Travis and I were both just like, oh my God, I would watch this band. I would play with this band. They're great. And then my favorite part of the movie, I think is definitely David Littleton who plays Uncle Peckerhead. This guy is having the time of his life in this role. He is having so much fun. He is so hilarious to watch. Uh, he's gross, he's, uh, he's scary, and he also brings the heart of the movie, which is so funny because he's like the villain, but he's also the heart. But there's so many moments where he gets closer to this band and he's like standing in the back by the merch table watching them play and you can see he's just like so proud of them and like he's got this like joy that he gets to like be with this band and it's just so beautiful but you know at midnight every night he turns into like a demon man-eating monster and that's not his fault it's just who he is now the only negative i have about this movie is the pacing is a little rough at times. Sometimes jokes or scenes can feel a little stretched out when you kind of, in this kind of movie, you want it to be like a little more bada boom, bada bang, bada boom, bada bang, you know? But I don't really care because I love what this movie was doing and what this movie was about. It was a DIY movie about a DIY band. And there's also something, you could just tell this movie is like a labor of love. Travis even noticed when we were, um, we watched the credits of this movie very intently because we wanted to see uh, who had done the music and like if there were other bands, Jersey bands involved or anything like that. But we saw a lot of people with the last name Lawrence and like the special thanks and in some of the other roles in the production, which just like, you know, people in his family helped out with this movie. You know, you could see that the, like the costume designer also had like a role in the movie. Like it just felt so like a group of people did everything possible to make this movie happen. And that just brings me a lot of joy. It just makes me just, I don't know. It just makes me happy. So this movie's very cool. I always want more punk rock horror films. We have some, you know, we have The Green Room. We have The Ranger, that's another one about a band. But this one just, I don't know. This one just feels like it has the most 
heart to me and I really appreciate that. So to all of you that told me to watch this movie, thank you. And now I'm telling the rest of you to watch it. I'm gonna link the movie in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. And that's it. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my 31 days of Halloween. Give this video a thumbs up and uh, have a nice scream. Bye.